It's Friday, it's the afternoon, so you know for a fact we are a lot in animal welfare, hanging out with our good friend Russell Anderson. Russell, what's going on, man? How you doing today? Well, it's Friday, Friday, Friday! So guess what? We're here to do a little furry friend Friday with my pal here. You wanna meet him? Let's meet him. He, right. he is uh, he's a good guy, Rowdy, and he's uh, getting a little rowdy on us right now, ready to, to have, have some fun. That's right. Rowdy is a four-month-old collie mix uh, male. It, you can see on his back end, he's got a little loose uh, fur back here. And so we treated him for mange. He's growing all his hair back. It looks really good. He's doing amazing. Uh, he's still full of that energy. He's got that puppy energy in him. But Rowdy is just amazing, and he is looking for that forever home. Hard to believe right now, but he was just being an absolute sweetheart a minute ago, just hit, sitting here letting us rub his belly, but got, got a little burst of energy, just really wants to play right now. Well, that's because the camera turned on. So <laughs> <laughs> he's going to show you that, hey, he's still got energy. Uh, he's going to look for a younger couple, you know, someone that could keep up with his energy. So, Or, you know, a military soldier that, that likes to run. That would be an excellent one because he would be able to keep up with them. Absolutely. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, we always like to come out here and talk about how many pets you guys have, but a little, little bit different this week. Very, very few uh, ready for adoption right now. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, I've got like four dogs up for adoption, um, and I believe I got five cats. So this is a good weekend that people can actually come down here, possibly clear the shelter of adoptables. But that brings up our conversation that we were talking about earlier is, we're full every single pin i think i have two pins open in the entire building right now we had a cat hoarding situation where we took in 60 cats um we we're just they just keep coming in and in and in so we're trying to get the adoptables out that's the best way there, there's only one other good way and that's if the people will actually come down here and take a look for their lost animals they come down and they claim their lost animals get them back home because if they haven't came down here and looked for their lost animals, they're putting their own animals' lives on the line because we're balancing so much right now, trying to save as many as we can, but everything's being done on volunteer vets. So if I don't have a vet, I can't spay and neuter them. I can't put them up for adoption. So we're hoping and praying that people will come down and look for theirs. We're hoping and praying people will come down and fall in love with you know, little guys like Rowdy here. Absolutely, it's a very easy process for people to come down here, not only to look at, you know, adopting a new pet, but to check for their own. They just gotta walk in and, and, and any, an easy process for them, right? Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing that they have to be is over 18 and they have to have a valid ID. Come on down here, at least let's claim your animal uh, so we know it's possibly getting out of here um that day you know and and that all depends upon the level of you know do they have a city license do they have a current rabies shot um you know doing simple things like putting the number on a collar that's an easy way that the animal may never even come in here because they could look at the collar and then call them directly absolutely well you guys will be open tomorrow for people to come down right. here and take a look at these great pets tell us yeah. when and where okay well we're going to be down here from 10 a.m to 2 p.m 10 a.m to 2 p.m and we just happen to be located at 2104 southwest 6th street Whoa. and you can meet rowdy down here and we'll see <laughs> you down here well rowdy will be looking for a good run tomorrow come on down and make sure to check out Watton animal welfare on facebook for more information